Hello developers, today we are going to build a marketplace to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your own projects. A decentralized marketplace is a distributed network where all the participants share the responsibility of running the network. Developing smart contracts of this marketplace to be deployed on the Ethereum blockchain, CryptoPuppies is a marketplace to buy and sell through cryptocurrency. You will also build a similar solution today. We'll be using Candy Kit to build this solution. Now what is a Candy Kit? Candy One Click Install Kit gives you a ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use Candy Kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on Candy. Today we'll be using a popular Candy Kit which is marketplace to buy and sell cryptocurrencies One Click Install Kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands-on walkthrough. Hello all, hope you are excited to build your own blockchain based crypto puppies marketplace. To build this web application, you would require the following. First of all, a development environment of your choice. Second, a runtime environment like VS Code. Third of all, we would require an open zapling, a library that will help us build smart contracts for the blockchain network. Third, we will require the MetaMask wallet so that we can get some free Ethereum. Fifth, we would require the Pinata Cloud that will help us create hash code for uploading the images. Everything that you need is already available in the Candy Kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the Candy Kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with most of the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and you can follow the instructions listed here. So let's start by setting up the two prerequisites, prerequisites before we go ahead and set up the kit onto our local system. So to install the MetaMask extension for Chrome, click here. And then option to add to Chrome will be shown. Go ahead and add the extension. So the extension will start showing onto your screens. Say let's get started, create a wallet, agree to the terms and set up a password for your wallet. Please follow the rules and also say I agree here and create the required MetaMask wallet. You can also secure web, uh, your wallet so that in case you forget the password, you can use the secret recovery phrase. For me, I will just set, say, remind me later. And once you are able to set this up, you come to the Ethereum network here. And basically here you would see that our account is created, but currently you have zero Ethereum in it. So we would say, Show and hide the test networks and go here and say show test networks. So just enable that. So we have all the test networks displayed. And we want to work on the Roopston test network. So we will again go back to our kit first. And from the kit you will see that there is an option to collect the Roopston Ethereum. So to be able to collect your Roopston Ethereum. What we have to do, what you got to do is you, after setting your uh, default to the Roopston test network, you will now copy the account details from here and paste it onto the Roopston testnet faucet and ask for providing the uh, 10 uh, Roopston Ethereum. To be able to view those Rupston Ethereum into our account, we'll have to first connect to the Rupston test network site. So go to that page, 
click on your metamask then you would see that currently showing not connected so click on the three dots and say connected sides manually connect to current side go and click on next and connect so now we can see that we have 10 rupston ethereum that we can use to do uh, uh, buy or sell on to the crypto puppies marketplace once you are finish uh, setting the metamask wallet with the required rupston ethereum we can click on the candy kit and set up your installation onto your local systems so that all the re other required dependencies and libraries are automatically set into your system hope you all are set if you have successfully set up the kit you would be able to get the folder uploaded into the development environment of your choice and let's try and understand a bit what is happening inside the source folder so as we would go into the source folder we will have the contracts under the contracts folder and we will have our app.js and so the main.js where the entire code is written so that the same can be loaded for our uh, web application so first let's look at the contracts which are written in solidity programming language and if we see here within the marketplace.sol we will have a create product function and we will have a purchase product function so these two functions are basically used to create basically uh, how you can create your own product on the marketplace and for this you would require two types of checks one is that whatever product you require uh, create should have a valid name and secondly it should have a valid price right so these are the two checks uh, when you are creating a certain product and then you will be able to pass on the price the image and the name for that product these are the three things for that particular product that you can uh, work around with also within the purchase product you can buy a product if four conditions are satisfied one thing is uh, whatever product you are buying first we need to make sure that it is a valid valid id second thing is that there is enough ethereum that is available for the transaction so you need to have sufficient ethereum so that you can buy that product third thing is that if that product has uh, we need to make a check whether that product has not been already purchased right and fourth of all that if you are the uh, buyer right then you cannot be the seller so all these four conditions if are properly met then uh, you know this is how we have created this solidity contract here okay so uh, with the help of these two functions these are defined here in the marketplace.sol and then let's get, get into the app.js if you see the app.js within the app.js you simply have done the first uh, few imports for the essential libraries etc other than that we are here loading our web3 with the help of which we will be able to connect with our metamask and basically it will help check whether the particular browser is a ethereum browser or not whether it has ethereum enabled so with metamask we are uh, trying to you should try connecting to metamask that says this is the alert that uh, it will show when we will try to uh, connect with a browser or i mean when we when the browser is not detected as per requirement and then there is this load blockchain data that will help you load all the requirements on the web application as in we need the web application to have a create product as well as a purchase product feature and everything else that can be loaded so other than this if you go at the purchase product feature if you see here the function is written the set state etc is written simply and within this render if you can see uh, the create product and purchase product have been rendered here so basically if you want to get more into the details let's get into the main.js 
in the main.js the product name image name has been defined as well as the price right three things have to be uh, present when you want to create a product the name the image and the price so rendering happens here in the main.js so we can see main extends the component and within that you see that when we want to add a crypto puppy we uh, need to define three things name image and price similarly if you would see for uh, this is the buy a crypto puppy yeah so for the buy a crypto puppy option that you can see here again that needs to have ima name image price and the owner from whose uh, you know you are trying to fetch and then uh, your products are being created using a product dot map and within this product dot map you can see that your product id your product price has been defined name and value has been defined based on the uh, name and the value input within the button so this is basically what's happening here the entire uh, thing gets rendered from the app.js app .js into the main.js app is basically how it's going to get displayed and then main is where the entire functioning is written and within the contracts the actual uh, restrictions have been set when you had successfully set up the kit it will uh, try to load the blockchain application on to your local host network and then you will be able to see this loading that is happening also you would be able to see that as you load you would see that your metamask will get the notification required notification so that it will ask you to connect to this site and to get connected we will press connect as uh, your uh, loading would take some time you would also see that your address is what matches your account address and then this is the contract address so you can also check into your metamask if you like that whether the same address is being displayed or not right so this is your own address and then uh, you have this add crypto puppy you can add your product name image and price here and then click on add product that way your product will add and this website will take some time to load these different images since it is over the blockchain network it takes some amount of time so if you see that the loading is a little slow in process don't worry about that you also have you uh, register here on the pinata cloud so that when you create and upload your own image you are able to simply do it so do register for pinata cloud simply the requirements here so we just say register now you need to upload a certain file for which you want to create this unique hash Let's upload the required file here Let's call it copy put it and we will generate the cid and link for this file file is successfully uploaded we'll just reload it so it will take some time you can just reload this and then you will see that you will get the hash code of the image so just copy this hash code go back to the marketplace uh, you can give the name of your choice and copy this hash code here and then give a price that you think is suitable add product so again it will ask for some roopston ether you can see we will have to execute this transaction confirm this transaction and then it will take some time 
to get uh, loaded onto this uh, global blockchain network so since we can see that uh, the loading will take a little bit of time we want to check whether our added puppy is shown or not so then this, this is a global one so this is my puppy 23 it will take some time to load the image but yeah we can simply check that it has come at the last at the bottom it will happen the same for you it will take time some some time to load since it's on the global blockchain so in fact you can buy one of the puppies if you like and again it will then ask you for uh, some confirmation i will confirm and then will wait again for that to load because once i have bought uh then that button should not appear for buying for that particular puppy image so my was this puppy 23 which still has this buy option and since i have bought the puppy 12 no longer we see that the option to buy this is present right so that's how you can work out and you know uh, create your uh, own crypto puppy image add it to this marketplace which is globally available and yeah work around this problem i hope this helps thank you so much hope you found this session useful using candy kits is a great way to build blockchain models You can find link to this marketplace application kit and many other ready to use kits in the description below. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more. Try out Candy Kits now. Hit that subscribe button and join us at the Open Weaver community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session. Till the next one. Bye. -bye.